Hey everyone, welcome back to a very special episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. And today, somehow, <laughs> is the 2000th episode of Guitar of the Day. We want to thank you. Yes, yes, and Jen's here. Yes, I just had be. to film it. She had to be here for this one. Um, and thanks to our friend Bob, uh, who always keeps count of uh, all the episodes. That's how we found out and mm -hmm. kind of remembered that we were got this far and it's also coming up on our eight-year anniversary mm -hmm. on doing guitar of the day so i just want to first and first of all thank jen because jen has been here since the beginning of guitar of the day and um also shout out to mark ignisi um who also was in the beginning and uh and uh i just want to most importantly thank you guys for watching it's yes. crazy that it's been this long and we're still doing it and uh and it's just been a humbling experience every day i get up and do this i don't need I, I just of <laughs> course i prepare but i you know i i never know what to expect i'm just never really a get in front of the camera kind of guy but you guys made it comfortable for me and uh i just want to thank you guys for watching and and uh shout out to norm for having us do it all the time and uh it's just this very special thing so we're gonna have a special episode today with a special guest yeah um, one of the best guitar players in my opinion and i think of a lot of people's opinion of all time um and just um, besides that, um, I think a really important thing too, and this is only my second time meeting him, but one of the kindest souls I've ever met. Just a really soft-spoken, nice man, and, and uh, just a great influence. So you're going to have to wait until <laughs> we get out front to see who it is. But uh, he's a legend. Um, but yeah, let's start off with our guitar of the day. Of course, I had to do this to myself <laughs> because I'm hosting guitar of the day now, so... <laughs> I had to go with a guitar I love. This is from 1965 and it's from Norm's Warehouse. It's a Fender Jazzmaster and it's kind of like an off white with a matching headstock, yes. and gold parts, and a torch guard. So um, beautiful. I keep saying it kind of reminds me of a Mary Kay Strat because they were always kind of that see through blonde with the gold parts. Um, but uh, this is something special. Um, one of the things that I really love about this guitar is the transition kind of period thing. So there's no binding on the neck. Um, and the neck is kind of a thinner profile, but not too thin. Very easy to play, I think, for a modern player. Because some of these vintage guitars, if you're used to playing all the modern Fenders, um, besides certain reissues, like a 52 reissue of a Tele or something, um, there can be, uh, you know, vintage guitars can be kind of a thicker profile or something different than you're used to. But this is kind of comfortable, even if you're not used to a lot of the vintage specs. Um, also, um, it has the witch hat knobs. Um, which is interesting that's kind of shows us that it is a little transition because usually they have the strat knobs um, Tortoise guard rhythm selector. This becomes your volume tone. This becomes deactivated. You push this down You have your neck both pickups together and your bridge one volume one tone um, Like I said the gold parts are just really beautiful. Look at the headstock. So cool um, Let's take a look at the back Also Ooh. pretty Awesome L plate on the back, gold tuners. Um, and another thing about this guitar, which you cannot lose, are the gold accessories, um, which is amazing that he has them, especially this. This is crazy that he has um, the bridge cover, um, which you would just put on like this. Most people lose them, let alone a gold plated one, but uh, here's the bar too. So really special guitar. Um, I just want to get out there and play <laughs> and show you guys who's here um, because it's such an exciting thing. And uh, yep, and I was just about to say that too. <laughs> this is, I want also want to thank everybody who has filled in Angela Petrilli, Brandon Soriano. There's so many people. We had Rudy Sarzo, Clark Sims, um, so Greg many Coates, of... Roberto, so many people helping, helping us out. And uh, Joe, Joe Bonamassa. Yeah. I mean, I shouldn't even name because there's so many names we got to go through. We yeah. can't even get through them all. But um, most importantly, like I said, it's you guys. We wouldn't do it if uh, you guys weren't showing up every day and, and showing us some love. So let's take it out front, see what we can do. And I hope you enjoy the surprise. Let's do it. Woo! Hey, everybody. Norm over here. We're here at the store. We got the lovely Angela Petrilli, who has got a new record out. Yes. Coming out this week. And it's called Live at Norm's Rear Guitars. Imagine oh, that. Yeah. that. Right. <laughs> we got Michael Lemo, who has records on Woodward Avenue. Woodward. 
and we've got the great Eric Johnson over here Woo! Uh, in from Woo! out of town. Thank you. It's an honor having you in the store. Thanks for having Thanks me. Thanks for coming in, and always oh, great to pleasure. see you. And these guys were playing this thing. It was pretty melodic. I'm, I'm going to go call the Isley Brothers. <laughs> tell them, you, uh, you know, we got All a cool right. tune for them over here. Yeah. I'm going to step out and let these guys yes. do it. So go for it, guys. Cool, and this is also our 2,000th episode of Guitar of the Day. Woo! All right. 2,000th Guitar of the Day? Yeah. Eight years. Eight, eight years. years of Guitar of the Day. Wow. Shout out to Jen, shout out to Mark Nisi, hey. and myself, and Norm for having us do it. So let's jam a little bit. All right. One, two, three. By the way, just so you know, uh, Eric is playing this beat up 1956 Stratocaster. Uh, looking a little bit whacked nice. out or what? Yeah, this is awesome. This is good. And Michael is playing a 65 Jazzmaster white with gold parts. And Angela is playing a 1960 Blonde ES345. And these guys know how to make these guitars sound great. That was really beautiful. Love Very fun. tasteful. Thanks for having us. Thank you. I uh, really appreciate it, Eric. Thanks, thank Angela. Yeah, thank and you. you. Thank you. Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a handshake. <laughs> I'll give you a kiss. Oh, God. oh I got a kiss. Thanks, I'm not going to kiss you, though, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll oh just give God. you a handshake, buddy. Oh, thank you. Thank the great Eric Johnson. Thank you, guys. All right. That was awesome. Cool. Awesome. Very cool. Wow, this is a nice guitar. Yeah, they're all nice. <laughs> <laughs>